Today, we're going to be going over the Juggernaut, RTA. Yeah, I know this one's a little long in the tooth, but it is legendary and people love it. The big question is, is it a bigger, badder version of the OBS engine? Make sure you watch the whole video to find out exactly what I think. Nice looking RTA. I like the the tank section, the matching Ultim section with the with the uh, Ultim drip tip. I think it's nice. I know a lot of people don't like the look of, of Ultim. A little bit of knurling on top, some knurling over here. Here's your top airflow. No stopper. Just keeps going all the way around. Whatever you adjust on one side happens on the other. Goon style Ultim drip tip right here. Nice wide bore. Very high quality drip tip. I'm definitely digging it. Inside there, you can see the O-ring for your goon style drip tip. In order to fill this tank, you simply give it a little twist and pull up. Right there is your fill port. Kind of on the on the small side. The only thing that'll really fit in there is needle nose bottles. Not a big fan of this side type of fill port thing because you always got to tilt the tank. It's just a pain, all right? See some juggernaut branding over there. In order to close it, you twist it and pull it down. On the base, you can see it says Juggernaut. I have serial number 2801. Gold-plated 510. Insulator ring around it. Stainless steel threading around the 510 pin. In order to take your base out, you simply unscrew the base like that. There is your deck. Glass piece comes off. You have like a cage material around it with some QP design branding over there. Threading on this is very smooth. They did a nice job on the threading. They really did. The whole thing is machined beautifully. I have to give them that. Let's put that to the side for now. Here is the deck. Postless deck, right? Grub screws are accessed from the side right here. Nice quality grub screws. Here is your airflow. Basically what happens is your airflow comes down from the top, right? And then it comes through this part over here and then through here. Typical, you know, top airflow design. Not much of a conical thing going on in there because of the way the airflow is set up. Terminals are nice. Nice and wide. You can get some flat, some nice flat wire builds in there. That's for sure. We're going to throw a build in here. So once you get your lead lengths correct, you just put your coils in there. Don't worry about coil placement right now. We're going to fix that in a second. Get your coils in there, kind of hold them in place, and screw down your leads. Once they're in there good, then you can give them a little bit of a twist, tighten them all down a little bit. And now we're ready for coil placement. Just want to get your coiling rod in there and give them a little twist and make sure they're laying right above that airflow right there. Same thing on the other side. Get your coiling rod in there, give them a little twist and just make sure they're nice and even. That is just about perfect. That's where you want them sitting right above this airflow. Let's give them a quick little pulse. You can see we got a couple of hot spots. And there we go. We're glowing from the middle nice and even. I take a nice piece of cotton, nice long length, right? Give it a nice little twist. Make one side pointy like that. Send it through. See that nice resistance we got there? That's exactly what you want. Cut it right around there. Now you take what's ever left over, the cotton you have left over from the piece you cut off, and you wick it through the other side. And you just gently, very gently, tuck your wicks into place. That's the way it should look. Now, now it's time to put the tank back together. There's only one right way to put it back together. You don't have to line anything up. It'll only go in this way. You just slip your build deck in like that. And you, sometimes you got to give it a little bit of a push for it to catch. And then just screw it on. And now you're ready to fill. Here's your glass section. Here is your fat boy section, right? Basically like a bubbled out glass. And here are your spare parts. You get an Allen key, some spare O-rings, and some spare deck screws. 
let's get into the cons and pros because there's quite a few cons but there's quite a few pros as well first con i touched on already i went into detail with you the flavor's just not not there it's not good small top fill port don't like it that's going to be a con price point i see this thing for like you know 89 dollars 100 bucks it's sorry man for the flavor that it puts out it's just not worth it if you really want something like this save yourself 60 bucks and go buy yourself an og engine you'll get the same exact type of flavor no 510 drip tip adapter they're going to get a con for that no stopper on the afc ring they're going to get a con for that as well let's get into the pros because there's a few of them all right like i said the machining on this is probably as good as it gets I'll give them their props for that. Multiple capacities. You got a choice of running it in 4ML or 6ML mode. I like that. Easy to build and wick. We'll give them a pro for that. Smooth airflow. Pro. Nice drip tip. Pro. And let's give them a pro because, listen, if you don't have a wicking game, this thing won't leak on you. Most of the times when a tank leaks on somebody, it's because you need to up your wicking game. You don't need to have a wicking game to wick this tank. And in closing, I just want to tell you, man, don't believe the hype. It's not as flavorful as everybody claims it's, it is. Save yourself 100 bucks. If you want this type of flavor, go buy an OBS engine and save yourself some money. All right, we're going to have a link down below just in case you want to try it out for yourself. We're also going to have a link to the juice I was using today. I was using Vaporfy Grand Reserve Island Frost. Awesome, awesome summertime vape. Pineapple, coconut blueberry mint you know got a really really nice flavor to it nice summer flavor not too much of a cooling agent we'll also have a link down below to our forum vapinginsider.com forward slash forum and remember man we kept it 100 we gave it to you straight we don't promote products we review them here make sure you click on the thumbnails on the screen check out some of our other great videos and that's it folks that's all we got today we're going to see you guys on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.